Good news for Raptors fans and fans of 905 point guard Javon Freeman Liberty as a player has just signed a multi-year contract with the NBA organization today. So in this video, let's assess what sort of impact we can really expect this player to have on the team moving forward. Let's get into it. Welcome back, everybody. This is Amateur Hour Sports 2, the second channel in the Amateur Hour Production Network for additional Toronto Raptors content in videos just like this. And today, we're going to be covering Javon Freeman Liberty's contract that he just signed with the Raptors. So make sure you do hit the like button if you enjoy along the way and subscribe because we're getting close to 2,000 subs over here on the channel. And if you like my content, well, you're going to love the content over here as well. So you can get locked in with the Amateur Hour Army. Also, be sure to check out my main channel, Amateur Sports, with almost 17,000 subs if you have not checked it out already. But Javon Freeman Liberty, as confirmed yesterday by Shams Tarania, yes, a multi-year NBA contract, a standard contract, a standard NBA contract. So first off, congratulations to Javon Freeman Liberty for earning this contract with some exceptional play in the G League this season. Javon Freeman Liberty has averaged like Shams had tweeted there, 23 points for the Raptors 905 in the G League system this year. Been very impressive overall. We combined the four Showcase Cup games with the regular season games. We produced some outstanding statistics. But of the regular season games, 21 in total, 20 starts in those games, 24 points over there, 45.6% shooting from the field, 33.6% shooting from three with seven rebounds and four assists. Adding in the Showcase Cup games, he was also producing similar numbers, but just maybe even a touch more efficient over there. So there's been some very positive numbers overall from the player with the Raptors 905 this season, which has led to some confusion by fans over his lack of involvement at all, really, at the NBA level. He's played two games for the Raptors this season. He's averaged four minutes. Sorry, he's averaged two minutes as a whole. So he's played four minutes in total for the Raptors this season. And it's been confusing, especially with all the trades having gone down for the Raptors, a significant lack of guard depth overall in this team. Yet here we have this 905 player who's playing so well in that position, kind of confusing as to why we never actually got a glimpse of the player who was on a two-way contract at the time. And we were wondering, what sort of faith does this team actually have in the player? Well, obviously now showcasing that faith with the contract. We don't have the complete information on the contract as of yet. It appears as though this contract is guaranteed for the rest of the season. Not sure as of yet what sort of guarantees they're going to be for next season if the Raptors have the opportunity to waive the player in training camp. Obviously, we hope that is not the case, but... Not sure what the flexibility is. Regardless, if he is on the team next year, he's making an estimated $1.9 million. So, yeah, not taking up much space financially. And the Raptors, roster spots needed to get filled. They didn't need to, but roster spots were available to get filled. And here we have Javon Freeman Liberty checking in here. So, what's impressive about Javon Freeman Liberty? He's a pretty sizable point guard here. Obviously, knows how to score. Obviously, can shoot the ball pretty well, as we saw with those statistics. And really... There's been good signs for the player for a while now. Last season, he was pretty impressive in the G League overall with the Windy City Bulls, but really, really took on a new step in Summer League where he actually was selected on the All-Summer League second team with some impressive numbers over there. 21.2 points per game, 4.6 rebounds, and 4.4 assists. Uh, so much so that Chicago Bulls fans were hyped up as he was with the Chicago Bulls in the offseason. But what is really funny about it is that the Bulls didn't actually give him a contract. It was the Raptors who ended up getting him on a two-way deal, which was uh, some pretty impressive business overall by the Raptors organization, I must say. And now he is here to stay. So fans are obviously excited. They're seeing a lack of point guard depth overall with the team. And yes, it is you know nice to have that going forward and maybe seeing him in the NBA for the rest of the season. But I don't want to go too, too far with the signing here. Like, granted, like, look, we signed a player for $2 million over a year and a half. Wouldn't call $2 million peanuts, but relative to the NBA, it, it kind of is. He's a young player, yes, but he's not, like, ultra young. He's 24 years old. Um, I understand, you know, Emmanuel Quickly is also 24. We talk about his potential, but Emmanuel Quickly is a lot further along at this point in his career. Freeman Liberty, yeah, there are a lot of signs of improvement, but... I'm not looking at this guy like, like he's a lead point guard for this team going forward. I think that what would be a positive result from this situation is if there is NBA involvement on a regular rotation basis. Not saying he's like the sixth or seventh man, but can he be in rotation in some capacity for this team? 
can he earn that backup point guard spot? Because like coming into the season, point guard depth was already bad. It was Dennis Schroeder, it was Malachi Flynn, and then it was Javon Freeman Liberty, Marquise Noel. Well, Schroeder's gone, of course. Malachi Flynn's gone, of course. Manuel quickly is in, but sometimes it feels as though he's not like the perfect point guard. He's more of a two guard type of player. Obviously, he's learning the position, kind of relearning after playing as a two guard to Jalen Brunson for so long with the New York Knicks. However, just adding in some additional guard depth because right now the Raptors, they have one point guard on their roster. Um, it's Emmanuel Quickly. The player that was getting the backup point guard minutes was, well, Scotty Barnes, who unfortunately has a fractured hand and will be out for a good amount of time here. So already I was hoping for some additional play time for Freeman Liberty. Now even more so with even less depth in the guard positions overall. Going forward for next season in training camp, you know, who knows what sort of business is going to go down for the Raptors in the summer. I don't think there's going to be a team that's ultra busy in the offseason. So the opportunity knocks and the opportunity will be there for Freeman Liberty to potentially earn that backup point guard spot. And hey, there's not a lot of competition for the position. So I'm not suggesting like this is going to be a, a season changing sort of decision from the Raptors or future altering decision by the Raptors. But this is a player who clearly has talent, who is decently young and fills a bit of a positional need for the Raptors at the moment. So we'll see if Freeman Liberty can seize an opportunity whenever that opportunity presents itself. But the fact that he's been given this contract suggests that there's a good amount of faith that next season, perhaps he could actually help this team to a, to a certain degree. Realistically, I think he'll struggle to lock down a backup point guard spot on this team, especially with new draft picks coming to the team. The Raps are going to want to be giving play time to Potentially one of them turns out to be a point guard, but clearly it's a talented player. It is an inexpensive deal for the Raptors and a, a nice one to just take a gamble on and see, hey, what can we get out of this player? What can this player make of himself? What can we make of this player? And maybe giving him this lockdown sort of deal will give him the extra bit of boost to you know, feel more secure with his financial status, more secure with his role. And maybe that helps him kick on and spur on and give us a little bit more next season. So I'm very much looking forward to the rest of this season because I feel as though the Raptors already should have been tanking and losing Scotty Barnes for an indefinite period of time due to injury makes the decision a whole lot easier. It is time for the Raptors to really bank on tanking at this point. And if they do go in that direction... Let's see what Freeman Liberty can do on an NBA court. Like four total minutes this season for a guy who's been tearing up the G League all season. That's just not enough. I'd love to see a glimpse of what we have here. And then we can make an even better assessment for what he could look like next season with the team. But they're working behind the scenes with him. The multi-year deal is a reward for his effort. I'm happy, as are many fans with this decision to give him the contract. So what do you make of Freeman Liberty? And what do you expect his role to be going forward with the team? You give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. That's all for me for today. Drop a like if you did enjoy and make sure you're subscribed to the channel with this button over here so you're locked in on all the Raptors content available on the second channel. My main channel is right up here. It's or right up here. This is my main channel, Amateur Sports, for my best Raptors content, in my opinion. And also, here's my reactions channel for the best stream clips and highlights from the videos and streams from this channel. Also, be sure to check out this video here where I talked about the Raptors and why they should be tanking the rest of the way. And I'll see you again next time for another video here on Amateur Sports 2.